Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. In this video, we will learn about control charts which are used in industries. Control charts are used to monitor and control and to ensure stability in the process. And it also ensures quality and it also ensures consistency in production. And the most important thing Using control charts, the industry can identify potential problems and stop them before the damage becomes out of control. Okay, story time. So the first thing I want you to do is imagine your job is a quality analyst in a battery manufacturing factory. And these batteries are being supplied to a phone company now look the phone company will buy the batteries only if the batteries meet some criteria and that is nothing but the battery should last around 10 hours now look at this the phone users are all heavy users they are using it for gaming video streaming etc so the phone company wants to make sure their customers will have a battery life of approximately 10 hours so your job is very simple make sure every battery which is produced lasts around 10 hours of screen time okay this is what you are going to do by the way you won't be alone you'll have a QA team so point number one every day hundreds and thousands of batteries will be produced so you cannot test the batteries one by one that is impossible so what you do is you will select sample maybe two batteries or maybe three or maybe four or maybe five anyway in this example i want you to imagine the qa team selects five batteries which are produced randomly every day now you are the statistics expert so you are going to measure two things one is the average battery life of those five batteries and the range okay look at this this is how it goes okay i have given you the data from august 1st to august 18th of course sunday is the holiday so can you see in day one they selected five batteries and the QA team tested and they got these values. So the first battery worked for 10.61 hours, second one 10.46, 10.07, 10.95, 9.76. .9 but what is your job? Your job is to find the average. Can you see? That is how we got this value 10.37. And second thing you will find the range. What do you mean by range? the biggest value minus the smallest value that's it day 2 august 2nd so again they selected five batteries randomly so 10.1 10.66 hours 10.24 etc etc the average is again 10.37 and this time the range is little bit less now third is a holiday so Again on 4th, there was production. Again the QA team is going to select the batteries. Same story continues. Now look at this. This continued for 15 days. Now after 15 days, you have 15 X bar value and 15 R value. Listen very carefully. You have 15 X bar values. Can you see? 1, 2, 3, etc, etc and 15 R values. R value means the range value. And after 15 days, you are confident to produce the first control chart. Okay, to calculate or to create a control chart, you need something called the lower limit, the lower control limit, the upper control limit and the mid value. So you're going to calculate the upper control limit, lower control limit, and we have some formulae and some industry constants. In your examination, they may provide these values. 
but usually it is safe to memorize these values by the way in the first day if you select five samples in second day third day fourth day and forever you should do the same you cannot have first day five second day four third day five fifth day six no it should be uniform okay now look at this this is the x bar control chart can you see this dotted red line above and below these are the upper control line and the lower control line and now can you see corresponding to the date they have all the data values over here and this is x bar bar means you calculated x1 bar x2 bar daily now we are finding x1 bar plus x2 bar plus x3 bar the whole divided by 15 days in this example and that is how we created the middle line the center line and by looking at this i am able to understand the batteries are behaving consistently so the x bar control chart tells us how consistent the daily battery life was similarly we can create something called the range chart the r chart same story you create upper control limit lower control limit and the center line the middle line and plot all the data and now we are able to understand the variation look at this if you buy five batteries you charge it you use it you are never going to get the same battery life every day you will not get the same battery life uh, even if it is produced by the same factory same machine but there will be a range in the variation if it stays within the control line then we are able to understand things are under control okay now let's work out one problem which they ask in the exam now look at this the qa's job is not done it starts here now starting from tuesday look they stopped on a monday can you see 18th of august now starting from tuesday the 19th every day they will take five batteries so they started with five every day now they cannot reduce it it should be maintained five 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 every day and they will again calculate x bar and r and they'll keep on adding the points actually this will be done by software so you'll keep on adding the point into the chart if the point stays inside the limit that's nice everything is under control relax if something is not in pattern if the point goes above or below then it is time to give them a warning and the production will be stopped and investigation will be done and they will take care so that things will be inside the control okay now let's check out one problem i want all of you to copy this question pause the video right now copy the question to make things easier i am not giving you the actual data but can you see in this example also they are taking five data per day or per subgroup usually in the industry the subgroup size will be between 2 to 10 it's a norm it's a norm if you want you can do more than 10 but usually even 2 to 5 is more common you can read about it in most of the industries they will use the subgroup value to be between 2 to 5 anyway in this example n is equal to 5 in your examination they may ask another question in which n equal to 3 maybe n equal to 7 or maybe n equal to 10 anyway to make things easier i have already given the x1 bar value x2 bar value i am not giving you the five data values i want to make things simple for you so the sample mean is already given the range is also given you don't have to calculate bigger value minus smaller value or anything all the values that you need are given so now step number one so it will be nice if you note down these steps pause the video whenever necessary okay step one calculate x double bar so add them divide by five i got this value confirm it step number two look at this i'm planning to create an x bar chart and r chart that's why i'm calculating this 
r bar is given by add all the r values and divide by 5 now in the beginning i told you um, you need some standard industry values so these are the values it will be nice if you memorize the values at least from 2 to 5 or 2 to 6 at least at least in some universities they will provide these values in the exam in some universities they will not so you may have to memorize these values so this a2 will be used in the x bar chart d3 and d4 will be used in the r chart okay so step number three you need these values so step number four this is the main step so it's so simple the formula is super simple the upper control limit will be x double bar we already calculated plus a2 a2 means the industry constant multiplied by r bar r bar also you calculated what is r bar r bar is 0.8 x double bar is 10.58 i just plugged in all the values i got upper limit lower limit calculate it and confirm the answers now we are ready for the chart i told you it's super simple it's super simple now plot uh, like what you call x1 bar value x2 bar x3 bar x4 bar Put it in a scheme i have developed it using a software so you can check it here so sample one the data value the given data value can you see sample two the given data value the given data value the given data value the last data value and this is our x bar bar and that happens to be 10 point 5, the control line or the center line or the middle line whatever you want you can call it but in your examination write the proper word used in the industry so the upper control limit the lower control limit so things are in control can you see all the data values are inside but like i told you earlier the job of a qa does not stop here the qa team will keep on doing this process again and again and again and again till they manufacture the same product okay now time to learn the r chart r chart is also super easy step number one you calculate r bar we already calculated it so it's 0.8 and step number two let me make it very clear you may have to memorize in some universities they will provide the value in some universities they expect you to memorize the values at least from two to six so for the r chart you need d3 and d4 industry values so d3 is 0 why i'm selecting 5 can you see n equal to 5 that's why i selected 5 now the formula is super simple the upper limit will be d4 into r bar lower limit will be d3 into r bar so i got the lower limit the upper limit and the r bar value and we have the r chart over here can you see the r control chart and by looking at this these are the R values which is provided in the question and the central line and the what you call lower value, upper value and that's it. Things are in control. Okay, I want all of you to check out this problem. Look at this. The following data gives the mean. Wow, so they have given X bar value, R value. That is great because you don't have to waste your time calculating so this is very important here n equal to 4 that means every day or after every batch of production they take four samples and from the four sample they got 45 and 3 as average and range next time or in the next batch or in the next day they took another four samples they got x bar and r value x bar r value so they are asking you find the central line find the upper control limit and lower control limit again they are asking find the central line control limits for r chart first it was for x bar chart anyway i am going to add a question here they did not ask you to create a chart they don't want you to create a chart but i am asking you create a chart so that the concept becomes like extra clear anyway i have kept the answer here i want you to try and i want you to comment below whether you got the same answer and the same chart and i also want you to conclude 
what you understand from this chart i kept the chart here check whether you are getting the same chart and comment below so i'll be back with more videos like this in the next video we will talk about the p chart so till then my friends bye